Um, hi, My, I'm Sally Malloy. Um, I'm a visual artist um, studying a Doctor of Philosophy at Queensland College of Art. I study art because I believe that art has a unique capacity to um, help us understand the world around us in new and interesting ways. Um, but also, uh, I believe art has a kind of unique capacity to share that information with other people in ways that other types of research or kind of cultural work maybe don't. The Australian landscape. Um, or I originally kind of was just interested in exploring the kind of poetic um, qualities of nature, but um, in the last couple of years I've really kind of uh, narrowed my inquiry to focus more on um, a kind of politics of belonging in Australia, um, I guess as a non-Indigenous Australian and how like exploring my capacity to connect with or belong in the Australian landscape. I did have one encounter you could say early last year where I went to the bush or the outback for the first time um, on a kind of farm sitting expedition. I, I think it was that um, encounter with the Australian landscape, this kind of intense feeling or experience of non-belonging and sort of displacement and fear that really, I guess, kick-started my sort of questioning of this sense that I belonged in the Australian landscape when I had A, never really been there, but also I had not really ever um, addressed my colonial inheritance and what that could mean for a belonging. The main, the, the distinctive shift has been from focusing purely on a kind of sculptural way of working through to like this kind of painting epiphany and now I have a practice that kind of incorporates both. I remember in a painting critique in first year, I remember someone, I won't say their name, saying to me, just be very careful that your paintings don't look like they're part of an interior design show. <laughs> Which I don't, still don't really to this day know exactly what that means, but um, I have a feeling it wasn't good. <laughs> no, I don't have a, um, I guess, a role in mind, but I would really um, be happy to continue making art and being involved in the, in the arts community in really any capacity. Just in my own experience in the last sort of two years, uh, the amount of kind of artist run spaces or sort of non official um, initiatives that have emerged from places like, you know, students from QCA, students from QUT. Um, finding ways to, uh, I guess, deal with the lack of opportunities, as you were saying, that face artists probably across the country has just been amazing. Um, there, in my opinion, like there are so many things going on every single week and every single weekend that you almost can't get to them. I don't think that I have been disadvantaged from uh, being an artist in Brisbane. I think it's maybe a more adaptable artist, um, you know, that rather than just sort of looking for opportunities to exhibit in galleries, like I had an exhibition in a um, heritage listed house in Brisbane, in a, lounge room, in a lounge room, in a backyard that was under construction, in someone's laundry, uh, in a warehouse, in a garage, like I think that the one thing that 
you know, can come out of a lack of opportunity on an official kind of level for artists is that all of this really like interesting kind of grassroots stuff starts to emerge and that's where things can get really interesting. Try to be involved in as much as you can. Say yes to almost everything. Um, if you get invited to be part of a show, say yes even if you're not sure what you will put in it. Um, and don't, also don't wait until you've figured out what you are on about or what your work stands for or what type of artist you are or any of those things before you start uh, exhibiting. Find any opportunity you can to get your work up on a wall or out of the grass or wherever you want to put it and invite people to look at it.